Hey, I figured it's been a little while, so I'd just do a little uh, update here on this MST-206 I've been doing. I was on a little vacation there, and uh, that's why I didn't put up much, but uh, I just got back to it here a little bit, and uh, what I've been doing is I've been doing a modification to the to the input shaft here in the top. You know, as you can see, I got this whole thing disassembled and welded together. There's one of the needle bearings that I had marked already, and... Uh, that would be waiting to go back in. But uh, here's the top of the trans case with everything disconnected and pulled apart. And you can kind of see uh, I've got a hole right there. I got the flash on, hoping it would be a little better to take the video with. But uh, it's actually tapped out and everything right now. Um, what I ended up doing is uh, I've seen it's a few guys on some of the mower sites and stuff like that. I said, uh, Sometimes you want to put a grease fitting in on the uh, input shaft, being you're turning it so fast and everything. But you want to be careful when drilling a hole because you can get burrs in the metal chip and metal chips and stuff like that in the uh, needle bearings. So I figured it was pretty easy to pull the needle bearings out. Um, what I got right here is I got one is actually the seal that goes in the top, and then there is an O-ring that goes in the bottom of the case. Um, I'm thinking about leaving out the O-ring in the case uh, because that way maybe it would at least get a little splash lube, um, but maybe not a heck of a lot. You know, that's the main objective of the grease fitting is because you don't get a lot of lubrication to these bearings. And you can roughly see like where the bearing was sitting. It's pretty easy to do. You're going to need a press. I pressed them out. Uh, let's see if I can get around here. Yeah, you can see the hole down inside. Maybe you can kind of see the impressions of where the bearing, yeah, where the bearing is supposed to sit and where the hole is. The, the, the bearings don't touch together. There's actually a, a decent space between them. You can see they're pretty thin. Um, if I kind of hold that up here, you know, you can see that's about that thickness. Well, you know, obviously I'm, I'm down below, you know, because it's going to be down in the case a little bit, sunk just a little, maybe about there. I'd have to take a peek in there again. And then the other bearing is going to be below it, you know, from the bottom. So when you squirt the grease in there, grease is the whole thing, and you're good to go. But, uh, yeah, that was about it for now. I just wanted to do the do the grease fitting mod, and I'm going to get this top part of the case put back together. But uh, other than that, so far, so good. I haven't uh, taken it apart or anything. Jeez, I haven't even rode this thing in a couple of weeks. and Kind of hoping maybe I'll be able to get a little time in on it this weekend. Uh, yeah getting kind of itchy but uh yeah that's the old grease fitting mod for the input shaft on your mower transaxles all right everybody thank you for watching and catch you later bye